Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been on my channel before, I'm Brittany. I am a nurse turned um, makeup CEO and I'm the brand owner of Rose and Rebel Beauty. And today I wanted to hop on quick and just talk about under eye circles. Dun dun dun. And because it's St. Patrick's Day, as we've got going on here, my green so I don't get pinched, a lot of you are probably out drinking tonight and drinking each other under the table, so tomorrow is going to be full of dark bags and circles. Now, of course, drinking is not the only reason. If you're like me, you actually have dark circles because you're a mom of two and a business owner and a full-time nurse. So, um, I run constant black bags under my eyes. As you guys can see, I'm awfully dark, so here quickly I'm just gonna kinda show you my tune-up I do in the morning to not look like death when I take care of patients. So, a couple products that I have here, and this is one of my favorites, Tatcha. I know this is kind of bougie, but girl, she's my favorite here. This is my lifesaver. And I love this product just because it's so good for your skin and it works so well. So, um, but believe it or not, my brand, Rose and Rebel Beauty, has come out with the Illuminator or the liquid highlighter that I've been um, showing you guys here lately, and this actually serves the same purpose. So, um, and for a third of the cost of this, you get the same results here. So I am loving this product, guys, I really am. And I am absolutely in love with my logo, my beautiful logo here, as you can see. Shout out to Chris, who uh, made my mug here and Heather who made my headband here. Um, just wonderful. So I think what I'm gonna do for you guys today is on this side, do the Tatcha, on this side, do my illuminator and just kind of show you guys how you could look more awake in the, in the mornings. So first thing I do, as you can see, I'm completely naked for you guys. I have nothing on, unfortunately. So um, this is what I look like when I wake up in the mornings. I'm going to, um, now I have already put my moisturizer on for the evening, so um, my skin is nice and moisturized. I'm going to take a damp, tiny beauty um, blender because I like to get in there with the tiny little tip of this. And it does not take much of either of these product guys at all, just the tiniest little bit. That little bit, as you can see there, is all I'm going to use. So on this side, I'm just going to go right under the eye like this. And I'm just going to work that in. Now this stuff is amazing. It's wonderful skin care. Um, it helps prevent fine lines and wrinkles. And it's just overall good for your skin. And as you notice, as I get it blended in here, and I look up, look at how much, look at the difference. Oh my goodness. Now this is... 0.4 fluid ounces in this tiny little thing and it runs you about 64 to 68 dollars so but like I said it's well worth the price and this thing will last you forever I showed you how much that tiny little bit it takes now we're going to do the illuminator on this side so let me just read this box here to you illuminator is sheer, sheer cream liquid that perfects skin with light reflecting pearls for a soft natural glow this formula features ultra fine luminescent pearls that absorb reflect and reflect light for a polished natural looking radiance water light and sheer it has a prismatic effect that allows it to adjust to any light so your flying glow is never lost now i have this in three colors on my website this is the platinum tears and it comes in um, 0.68 fluid ounces, so you're getting more, for $20. It comes in this pump bottle, right like this, with my logo on it, Rose Rebel Beauty. I'm going to pump just the tiniest little bit, as you can see on my hand there. That's all we're going to need. I'm going to take my same tiny beauty blender, because I want to get right in that crack and crevice. I'm going to go right in here with this. Blend it in just like I did the other side. Blending, 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 blending. Blending, 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 blending. Now there are a lot of other eye illuminating, illuminating creams out there. 
These are just a couple options that you can use. And as you can see, I didn't even use all that was on my hand there. And as you can see how much lighter both sides are, I'm just going to go ahead and put this because it's also good for a highlight. So let's just, uh, you can put it all over your face for an all over illumination under your foundation just to uh, look refreshed and dewy if you want to. So there's that. Now I know a lot of people don't really um, like to prime everything. You know, you can prime your skin, you can prime your eyes, you can prime your lips, but I really love a nude matte eye primer just because my eyelids are like this dark off color and it just makes me look so tired. And so if for nothing else, I do like the fact that it primes and then your eyeshadow lays down really nice. But if for nothing else, even if I don't put eyeshadow on for the day, I love putting a nude primer on because then it lightens up that um, eyelid for me. So same nude um, eyelid primer on both sides. So we've got the $64, $68 Tatcha Cream on this side, my Rose and Rebel Illuminator on this side. As you can see, I'm starting to look a little bit more awake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my foundation. I'm not gonna do my full face, just to kind of show you guys around the eye area, what it would look like. Now I'm taking my Big Beauty sponge, and I'm a sponge user, I'm not really a brush user. And it's damp, it dampened it with water. And I'm just kind of tapping in my foundation, my Rose and Rebel Beauty foundation that you guys will be seeing here very soon on my channel. So I'm tapping my foundation in now over that primer, over that illuminizer on both sides. So there's one side. Now we'll do this side. Get a little bit more foundation here. My foundation is matched to the same color as my skin. And that, why that is important is you will see in a minute when I put my um, concealer on that my concealer that I am using to cover up my dark circles is one shade lighter actually. And that is to help lift and get all them shadows out of my eyes. So I'm just dabbing my foundation in nice and good till I get it all where I want it. And I have lines and wrinkles, guys. I know that's awful for a 32 year old to say, but I do. So, and again, I'm not doing my whole face. I'm just doing my under eyes, just to show you guys. See how nice and smooth that is. That side is nice and smooth as well. So let's just say my foundation is set on my full face. And as you can see when, I'm when I am naked for you guys here that I have a lot of redness. I'll have another video coming up on how to cover up that redness. I have a lot of redness that I cover to make my skin look one even toned. And then I contour out and put the color where I want it. So I am definitely a full coverage person when it comes to my foundation because I have so much that I'm covering up. But if you happen to be one of those people that is just has wonderful even toned skin, my BB creams will be amazing for if you just want some light coverage. Nothing heavy. Okay, so there you guys go. Again, this side is the Tatcha cream. This side is my illuminizer. Okay. All right looking pretty well the same so then like I said um, I love this concealer from Le Revolution um, I don't have concealer yet I'm hoping that's a goal in the future but this concealer is a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone to help me lift so I'm just going to do a little bit here do a little bit here I don't want too much and I'm gonna go back in with my little sponge, where kind of where I'm doing some detail, what I would consider detail work, 
and I'm just gonna press it all right into the skin right in and on this side as well I don't want it to look too much now concealers heavy and as a lot of you know it will settle in lines and wrinkles so we want to get this concealer where we want it and then set it as soon as possible because like I said I've got lines and if I don't set it it will settle in all those little fine lines right here around my eyes so I get this exactly where I want it and then I'm gonna set it and when you set it that is just with some setting powder and of course my favorite is Laura Mercier setting powder in color translucent because I am very fair very fair that's okay it's perfectly fine so again with my small now this isn't baking this is different this is gonna stay on this is about the right amount and I just go right across here and I just press it in and this is going to combine with that concealer and just make it stay. Now as you can see my under eyes are one color perfect so again Laura Mercier or I'm sorry um, Tatcha on this side and Rose and Rebel Illuminator on this side. One last trick I do to get rid of my under eye circles and make me look awake is a lot of times I will run a white pencil in my waterline just under my eye just in my eye here and this will give your eye that look that you are wide awake like that like that so now I all my darkness is gone I'm one even tone I don't look like I've been out drinking all night or up all night in my toddler's room because he's being a monster it's amazing and so um, what I want to hear from you guys below is comment give me a heart give me a like thumbs up give me your tips um, if you're watching this on YouTube subscribe to my channel if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram um, go to my uh, page at Rose and Rebel Beauty and um, follow me and we'll have some more tips and tricks coming up on how to uh, fix this redness and these blemishes and just look like a queen. Bye guys.